All right, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahakadash. Okay, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Mashiach Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior of the children of Israel, which is being called today uh, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but their true nationality according to the Heavenly Father God, you know, the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His Son Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. They'll be known as the Hebrew Israelites. Those are the true chosen people of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS. Salutation to the leg brother and out there pushing the word in sincerity and truth, which they lies and their freedom to, uh, to do so. You know, right now I'm doing it in transit, so I don't have scriptures to pull right now, but Lord's will, uh, after the editing, I'll, I'll pull scriptures, okay? But what I wanted to go into, what I wanted to go into was, uh, uh, there's a difference between thus saith the Lord and Lord willing. Okay? And um, and one of the things I wanted to push between the major differences is that you know ones have ones have to do with prophecy and 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 the other one has to do with moving in fear, okay? Because when you say Lord willing, that means that the future event that you may want to happen may not according to may not go according to your will. Okay, let's go go according to the will of the heavenly Father. For example, if I I'm, if I if I was talking to a brother and I'll say I'm going I'm going to work, you know, I would add Lord willing because I'm not I don't know for sure if I'm even going to make it to work. If I'm going to have uh, other plans, you know, other plans might kick in. Or, you know, even if I may not, I may not make it safe through the work, okay? So you say, Lord willing, you know, just for the fear of the Lord, okay? Because you because you don't know. You don't determine, you know, what you're going to do in the future, okay? The, the, the scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, Lord willing, I posted that the, that the Most High basically installs what you're going to do the next day while you're sleeping, okay? So you 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 don't have control of of, of, of your goings, okay? There's there's a uh, there's a saying uh, uh what's it called uh pre uh pre uh basically predestination. That's the word I'm looking for. Predestination, okay? So the Lord plans out what you're going to do uh in the future, so to say. According to his will, not according to your will, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this video mainly because you can't say Lord willing the prophecy. You can say Lord willing that it speeds up, okay? But you can't say Lord willing the something that the Lord said that he's going to do. Why? Because first of all, the word prophecy means pro meaning before and for side meaning to speak okay and we all know according to Habakkuk the second chapter one through one verse one through three that the vision is only for an appointed time okay so you could say Lord willing to speed it up okay because the, the process of prophecy is tedious okay it's not according to our time it's according to the Lord's time and our time to the Lord you know, one day to us, I mean, uh, a thousand years to us is one day to the Lord, okay? So you can say, Lord willing, to speed it up, but you cannot say, Lord willing, the prophecy. Why? Because the Lord spoke it. Okay, even though it was only for, uh, for a point in time, the Lord said, it shall surely come, okay? Why? Because he spoke it. And also the scripture says that the Lord is a man that he should not lie. Okay, so when the Lord speaks something and say he's going to do something, he's going to do it. One of the things, a couple of things actually, the Lord said he was going to do, first and foremost was destroy America off from off the face of the earth, okay, by fire. Also known in the book of Revelation as the second death, okay. And the second death is going to be by fire. You know, the scriptures never told what type of fire, but we know as today, Compare spiritual things with spiritual and also in second address nine and one measuring the time we know that fire is thermonuclear fire okay 
by these various ICBM missiles, okay? We know that to be true. Another thing that we know to be true, because the Lord spoke it, that he was going to deliver his people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which their true nationality, according to the Bible, are the true Hebrew Israelites, okay? And one of the things the Lord said he was going to do was deliver us from this place, America, also known as the scripture, Babylon the Great. You know, these are, and when the Lord says something, when the Lord is going to do something, it's a promise, okay? It's an oath, because the Lord said it. And he said, like I said before, he's a man that he shall not lie, okay? And all these prophecies you see are coming to pass, such as martial law with the whole uh, net neutrality, taking taking away the guns of the people, race wars. You, you, you see that brewing up, okay? You see, you see that brewing up, and also, I, I can't forget this: the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast technology is here, okay, and it's it, 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 it's been here for a while. They've been working on this since what? Uh, they said the 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 late '80s, you know, uh, late '80s going into the '90s. Okay, so it's always been here. It's always been here, but what you're seeing now is the manifestation of it. Okay. And the Lord spoke this by his prophets thousands of thousands thousands of years ago, okay? Thousands of years ago. And with with the sayings, thus saved the Lord, you know. Like I said before, and it was spoken by his prophets thousands of years ago, and you've seen it come to pass in these times now, known as the last days, because we are truly living in the last days. You know that there's there's a power you know there, there's a power out there and 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 it, it, and and it's just not what esau tells you because esau the so-called white man their true nationality according to the bible is esau edom the edomites what they will tell you in, in this society that there is no god okay but it has to be a god because of his words his saying his promise thus saved the lord and it was spoken thousands of years ago and you see it coming to pass before your eyes you know and as a man of the lord you know seeing these prophecies give you joy but it also gives you fear okay it also it, it's also it's also a fearful thing you know and, and it makes you want to get right in the, in the in the presence in the eyesight of the lord because you know that you know there's a true power out there why because it's because his word okay it, it, like the scripture says, they are faithful and they are true, and that's how you know that that, that there's a true God out there. Okay, thus save the Lord. Okay, and like I said before, it's a fearful thing because you're seeing these prophecies come to pass left and right, and 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 and, and it's just pop, like the the apostle to our said, it's popping like popcorn, man. And, and he had deemed this year the year of prophecy. And you see all these prophecies coming to pass. And there's only a matter of time where more prophecies going to uh, come to pass. You know? Any day now, World War III, which was also prophesied in the scriptures, according to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, and various other chapters and books in the Bible, that it was going to be a major war. Isaiah 9 and 5 says that it was going to be, it wasn't going to be a, a war with uh, swords uh, and the, the clashings of metal. It was going to be a war, uh, uh, it said this war shall be fought with fire, roughly paraphrasing, with burning, okay? So you, I mean, we on the break of World War Three. these nations are gearing up, you know, with, with, for their ICBMs, and it was all spoken of by the Lord. That's why you can't say Lord willing to, Okay? It, you, you have to say thus save the Lord and there's a major difference okay and you, and you see all these things coming to pass they taking away the guns you know, why because they, they plan to put America I mean I mean America, America is already already in a police state you know since 9-11 but they they, they planning on making it to a, 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 a prison a big institution okay where, where they're gonna have complete control over the people, and you and you see it coming to pass, and it's coming to pass right before these people's eyes, man. That's why we say, Barakatha Yahweh, or the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, 
Lefendler, uh, Lefendler, yeah, a war la ra. Thank you for giving us the light to see. Because a lot of these people can't see this, okay? A lot of these people can't see the, these prophecies coming to pass, man. Thus save the Lord. Okay? And, 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 and it, it's, why are seeing these prophecies coming to pass? You know, the Passover just passed. You know, it, it, it makes you want to even get uh, tighter, okay? Makes you want to, makes you want to, makes you want to be more on point, okay? So, um, with that, I mean, I hope, I hope brothers out there was edified. I believe I hit all the points I wanted to. The difference between thus save the Lord and Lord willing, okay? Um, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kadash. Okay, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior of the children of Israel. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS and salutations to the elect brethren out there pushing the word, sincerity, and truth. Okay, if uh, if anything else pop up in my head, Lord's will, because I don't know if it's the Lord's will or not. You know, I'm moving in fear, Lord's will. I put up a part two. Okay, so with that, I say Shalom. Bob the ball.